Okay, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the contacts manager to import contacts through CSV file. So go ahead and open contacts manager and you can see the normal import phone contacts button here. Now this of course is going to attempt to look through your entire uh, Google contacts or whoever whatever's on your phone. You can see there's tons of people here. Um, you can select individual ones, or you can select all. But we're not going to do that today. I want to show you a different one that's a little trickier, but it's it's made, made mostly for people who are importing large CSV files. So on most phones, you have a, an actual hard menu button. On this phone, it's in the bottom left. When I click that. You see how that opens up? So we have import from CSV and VCF. VCF is like a V card. So contacts list for maybe uh, a Windows phone or something like that. But let's go ahead and click import CSV file. And this will allow you to scroll through and find data that you want to use. So most of the time uh, what I recommend that people do is they text message um, a link to their phone and that way the CSV file will show up in here. So assuming you got that uh, file in here somehow then you would just click it. But I'm going to show you quickly how to do it from Dropbox. So let's say we're in Dropbox and we're going to um, look for a file. So we click um, let's say we're going to start with this one. We're going to click and hold and it's going to allow us to share or export. We're going to um, share it to, oh no, 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 sorry. We're going to export it to save to SD card. Now every phone is different, so you'll have to look and see exactly where you want to put yours. But here it's going to um, automatically, it should find the download folder. You can see that here at the top. So we're going to go ahead and click export. While that's happening, we're going to go back to Business Texter, go back to the Contacts Manager, hit the File menu again, and this time when we click Import, we're, that file is going to be in our download folder. So we're going to click that. And we're going to scroll through and look for it. Usually it's at the bottom, so here we go. And it's going to go ahead and start importing those. You can see um, there's a little spinny thing that lets you know that it's working. It's going to take a while, so we'll just watch it here for a second. Um, this is a very big file of 100,000 contacts. So it could take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So we're actually not going to sit here and wait for that to happen, but that lets you know how how it works. And when it's done, oh, here we go, it'll tell you how many are not imported, how many were duplicates, how many were maybe invalid length, um, invalid numbers. So sometimes you'll have data in an app that's not, or in a file that has nothing to do with phone numbers. Maybe there's dates and stuff like that in there. It'll ignore that. Now you can't just upload any old file to this, you know, preferably you've taken a CSV file in a spreadsheet, maybe Excel or OpenOffice, and you have all your data in there. You've deleted everything except for the column with the phone numbers. That's it. Then you saved it. That's the best type of file to import into this. So if you were to open that in the text editor rather than Excel or, or OpenOffice, you would just see a, a huge file that has nothing but phone number underneath phone number in a row. So that's what you'd be looking for. If you have stuff like um, commas or anything weird like that or it appears like all the numbers are on one line, the app might have some trouble. You can see here it just updated us with showing us that 750 total contacts have been imported. So the reason why this takes so long, of course, is it is actually 
it's duplicating, I mean it's checking for duplicates, not just against this file, but also the databases that are on the phone. So that way you're not re-importing on top of each other if they are able to ignore those. So that's a quick tutorial on how to use the advanced feature to import contacts into Business Texter. And we hope this helps and you have a great day. Thank you so much.